Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Peace, for those who are new here. Welcome to this space where we have conversations around motherhood, around marriage, lifestyle, and we have fun while we are at it. And in today's video, who is back? <laughs> who is back? Eric Banda. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to this video. Thank you so much and for having me again. And thank you for hosting again. us. Tell us, tell us, tell us. We here, here? Yes, we are in Mukatina Butter Cafe yeah. in Kachiru. So, Karibu, Karibu, hey. Karibu. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I visited her at, uh, at, the, at the cafe today. I really wanted to come. I think I, I pushed her until <laughs> I came. <had, I> <laughs> and I'm glad I did. So, yeah, um, as you've seen by the title of this video, mm. Vulnerability. Mm. Uh, vulnerability is not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of courage to be able to open up yourself and to allow yourself to be seen for who you really are. Mm. I mean, not the, the, I mean, the, there could be uh, attacks mm -hmm. from that. Mm -hmm. You don't know how people are going to perceive you Absolutely. being vulnerable. And when I thought of this, automatically, Erica came into mind <laughs> because she has been vulnerable in all ways. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons I followed you. Mm. So I was like, who better to do this video with? Mm. Thank you. And thank you mm. for saying yes. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So vulnerability, what does that mean for you? Because ah. I feel like it means differently for everybody. So yeah. For you, yeah. When, you when you think of being vulnerable, yeah. what does that mean? So it's a loaded question. Yeah. Um, but I think for me, vulnerability just means being seen for who I am. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not just for others. I think it's also vulnerable, like me being vulnerable with myself. Okay. And so how is it that I really feel? Like who, am I happy with who I am? Yeah. Um, because I think before, before we start worrying about how other people perceive us, yeah. um, it really starts with ourselves. Like we are trying to portray a certain image. Yeah. And why is that? Is it because we don't like what we, we truly represent, are, or we, what we yeah. represent? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think sometimes when we think, I mean, at least for me, I've always, um, for the longest time, considered myself a people pleaser. Okay. And I feel like I'm a recovering people pleaser. Yeah. I'm really trying to get out of that. Mm. But my natural tendency is, of course, to people please. Yeah. Um, and when I started, like, dissecting that through counseling, yeah. I, I always thought, well, it's because I think that other people want to see this version of me. Yeah. And so that's why I'm doing it. Right. That was right. like my main reason. But when I really got down to it, it was actually because I didn't accept certain parts of me. Okay. And and so, so is I that had when to be, you started your journey into I think so. Vulnerable? Yeah, it was like really it's a, whole journey. it's a long journey yeah. for sure. And I think that it's um, it's it's not linear. So there's times where I mean I feel like in high school I was finding myself. Yeah. And then in college I'm finding myself again. Always and finding myself. And then I get married, I'm finding myself. Yeah. I have kids, I'm finding myself. So I think it's just a continuous journey. Okay. Um, as you become an adult too, like how do you talk to your parents about certain things mm -hmm. or maybe um, things that you didn't necessarily agree with, like that yeah. also requires some vulnerability. So I think vulnerability for me is about really being authentic, being genuine, being your true self, mm -hmm. um, despite how others are going to perceive it. I see it through social media and I'm like, yeah. wow, uh, she's being vulnerable, she's sharing this and that, like you are a mother, I'm a mother. Yeah. And when you share your journey uh, in motherhood and, and you're really vulnerable about it, I'm like, wow, yeah. I can relate to this. Yeah, yeah so I feel like that is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if when the journey started for me, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's when when I became a mom is when I was like, you know, I can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't put on <clears throat> this whole, you know, armor of like I got this. I'm yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'm like I wake up with all this makeup and I'm looking. Yeah. I'm a mess. Yeah. yeah, I'm a mess as a mother, but you know we enjoy every moment of it and allowing yourself to be true to yourself. Yeah, I think that is also healing. Yeah, at a certain point. Yeah, definitely. And I love that definitely. about you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's it's not easy, like you said. Yeah. I think that as you know, I get from a lot of people. They're like, you make vulnerability look so easy, yes. and like, how do you do it? You're so courageous. Yeah. And the reality is, like, still. I mean, just the other day, I did a mm. post, and right after that, I was just. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I posted that. Yeah. What are people going to think? Because it happens. People yeah. talk about things that I post. Oh, she said too much. Oh, why is mm. she talking about this? Why is she doing that? And some of those things I hear through yeah. the grapevine. Some of those are comments that people make in my yeah. direct message. Um, and so it hurts. Like, 
I can stand and say, I don't care what, and I used to do it all the time, I don't care what people think about me, mm. I'm just gonna be my true authentic self. Yeah. And the reality is I do care what people think about me because it hurts when you're misperceived. Yeah. But should that get in the way of you actually being your true authentic self? Because I think that putting on a facade, putting on a mask, mm. um, pretending or people pleasing, is actually yeah. really exhausting. It and at the end of the day, draining. like it's draining, yeah. you're not happy. Yeah nothing is ever good enough and so it's like there's so much freedom that you can find in just being yourself yeah. and I think that um, it unlocks so many other things as well like so many opportunities other mm. conversations to be had so when you ask about like when did it start for me I think mm. truly it probably started when I was doing my master's in counseling okay. actually no sorry my undergrad in okay. psychology mm. um, and just understanding like about psychology and therapy and what goes into all of that mm. um, and so for me it was all about I just want to help people yeah um, I want to help people with their problems and when I got into my master's program is when the first year was focused on yourself like your own healing you. understanding yourself mm. self-awareness only help others after you know what you exactly don't. Yeah. and it's like I don't know back then I was just like but I'm fine like yeah. I don't have any issues yeah and until I started looking into it I realized like wow there's so much about myself that I don't even know. I don't even know why I do these things. And so as I started unpacking them, I just realized that there was so much freedom in really knowing who you are yeah. um, and how you then connect with people. Yeah. So I connected with my parents on a deeper level yeah. like after that because of understanding different things that was going on in our family and like how do we talk through all of that um, and not shying away because you're afraid of how people are going to perceive it. Mm. So I think that's truly when the journey started. Okay. Um, but over the years, I've gotten more and more courage to continue doing it. Okay. I want to, okay, I'm, I'm hearing the scream of terrifying yeah. in being vulnerable. Yeah. And if they say vulnerability is power, yeah. how do those two feelings merge? Yeah. How do mm. they merge? Mm -hmm. Like, it's terrifying, but then you're saying it's power. Like, how yeah. can you uh, break that down? Like, yeah. how emerging these feelings? Because it's terrifying to be yeah, vulnerable. For sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So that's is. why you post something or you say something like, oh, then before you, you click send or publish, yeah. you're like, am I really doing this? Yeah. It's still terrifying. Yeah. But again, you're owning it and you it's, it's, it's in, you're telling your story and not any other person. Yeah. So, explain to us yeah. how that um, works. So I think I'll, I'll give an example like in marriage, okay. right? Because um, my husband and I did a lot of like premarital counseling mm. before, before we got married. We also did like our own workbooks and things that we were tackling through. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in that, like there's sometimes things that you might want to hide from your like mm. hide from your spouse yeah. because you're just like oh man yeah if they realize how emotional i am or how dramatic i can yeah. be or you know on my bad days mm -hmm. you know i'm just gonna try to like work through that myself and okay. not really let this person in right mm. and in my first year of marriage i realized there was a lot of insecurities that were coming up in, mm. in myself like okay. me feeling really really insecure mm. and i was like i don't i don't know that i want to share this because now it's going to seem that maybe i'm jealous or maybe mm. I don't know, maybe that yeah. I don't trust him, that, you know, all these different things, but I was struggling with a lot of insecurities yeah. and a lot of that came from my past relationships, right? Right. Um, that somehow I thought like when it came to junior, it just stopped when we got, because we were dating, like I was so assured and then we got married, everything's mm. great. Mm. These things came in. Mm. So vulnerability was hard to be like, hey, I'm struggling with insecurities right now. Mm. Like these are the things that I'm struggling with. This is where I'm questioning stuff and it's really hard for me to come and have this conversation with you because I don't want to seem needy, I don't mm. want to seem jealous, I don't want to seem too much, like maybe this is not what you signed up for, yeah. right? And so feeling like Ooh, I'm going to scare like him that. away. Sorry? Don't, all feel like, don't we all feel like yeah. that? Like the thing is when you're dating, yeah. it's a different level, it's a yeah. different stage. This, this wall, you don't really like lay down. Yeah. But after marriage, you're like, well, this is it. Yep. They're going to see who I am for, for real, for real, exactly. for real. So am I ready for them to see that? Exactly. Am I ready to, lay to, to break down all these walls? Am I ready to like lay, be myself? Yeah. Because they say when you're married and you're living with someone is when you actually get, really to, know get to know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah so for I sure. Hear you. So yeah, so that, it was, it was really scary, but now it's scary, right? Mm -hmm. It's terrifying because you're like, how can I do this? Now where the superpower <clears throat> came in mm -hmm. is when I am actually vulnerable and when I do actually really share my fears, mm -hmm. it brings room for connection. 
So now he's able to hear me and to like assure me and say, you know, this is not what I believe, this is not what I think or mm. whatever it is, but it allows for like true meaningful connection. Yeah. I think that if I'm being fake or I'm hiding things mm. from my husband, mm. then it's being not going to allow him, <laughs> being fake, yeah, it's not going to allow that. him to mm. really connect with me on a deep level, right? Um, but when you can really, in a, in a safe space, mm. really unpack some of these things, yeah. um, I think that it brings a lot of connection. So that's where the superpower can be. Yeah. Um, that's just one example in, in, in my marriage, but also you know in, in motherhood, when I was struggling with motherhood, a lot of, I was like queen of, I'm just gonna find blogs of people yeah. talking about some hardships yeah. that they're going through, and yeah. I could relate to that, and mm. I felt seen automatically. Mm. I think that as human nature, mm everyone wants to be seen some, somehow, yeah, right? Yeah. And not seen for like what, oh, like, you know, I can sit here and talk about, Lisa, you're this, you're that, mm. and maybe that's like none of what you really are, yeah, you know? Yeah. And you're just like, oh, man, Erica really doesn't see me, like yeah. she doesn't really understand me, right? Mm. But we're all looking for like some kind of connection of like being understood or being seen. And so when we can really break down and like truly be ourselves, yeah. I think that allows for some connection and yeah. um, which can be a really beautiful thing. I love yeah. it. Like, I mean, vulnerability uh, forms meaningful relationships, mm. like real ones, like even like normal friendships. Yeah. Like, uh, of course, we have categories of friends, right? Yeah. And those be like, this one, I will tell everything. Yeah. They know me, no, no, know me. And this <clears> one, they're like, they know this strong piece. They know this person who puts up a front. Yeah. Like, I, I got this. Yeah. And yet you really don't got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like that's where the power comes in. You're like, okay, now I'm really... Uh, giving the other person a chance. Yeah. How they perceive that, how they take me, will determine where I stand with them. Yeah. That is you taking back your power through yeah. you being vulnerable. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So now in motherhood, you see it about you being, uh, you would watch, uh, you would look into watching these blogs yes. and all that. Yes. So how did that open your door into being vulnerable yeah. as a mother? So because I know like in motherhood, some things we're not allowed to say yeah. as society yeah. <laughs> uh, indicates. Uh, but when you see a mom saying, I didn't shower today mm. because I couldn't. Mm. Or they're breaking down crying. Or even calling that their children little monsters. Mm. Like, how dare you call a child <laughs> little monster? But sometimes Sometimes they, they are. are. <laughs> sometimes they are. Yeah. Just being honest. Yeah. I remember someone saying like I um, I struggled breastfeeding. Like all these things. Mm. Like someone to actually open up and say, It is happening to me. Mm. How is that? Like Yeah. You know, I hate to like generalize for everyone, but again, mm. I feel like if you're when you're struggling with something mm. and someone else, like whether you read that someone else is also struggling, there's some kind of like of like, oh, okay, like I'm not alone. Mm. Like it's not just me, yeah. right? I'm not just the problem. Like other people also deal with this, yeah. right? But then we can like take that and just like stop there, mm. which is where people just misery wants misery and company yeah. and so they just want everyone to be like doing bad. Yeah. Or it could be like, okay, like they feel this way and somehow they still have like something to keep going. Yeah. Or somehow they, they, they were able to overcome this and mm. now like, you know, look, they're, they're really thriving. Mm. Um, and so you can take it a step further of like, okay, like they went through this now, like what did, like, how did they get out of this? Mm. How did they get out of this feeling? How did they get the courage or mm. whatever it is? So I feel like vulnerability is not just sharing only like the negative things, yeah. but also like the, the, the positive things yeah, too. Right, and right. like the process of, mm. of, of how someone gets through things. The process. The process. I think he the works. process yeah. is so important. Yeah. The process because is the process so, so important. has the good and the bad. So exactly. So if you're able to share the process, you're human. <laughs> yeah, you're human. And yeah. I think like, we're all humans, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we need, to, we need to really be real. So for me, it was, I was always looking and reading blogs and like searching for like, okay, who else is struggling with this? Mm. And sometimes I would stumble upon it, like mm. I wouldn't really be looking, but I'd stumble upon it and I'm like, wow, like she's sharing so vulnerably about this. Mm. And I was like, and I'm dealing with that too, but like there's no way I would I share guess, this yes, with anyone, yes. right? Because again, I felt like it was just me struggling. Mm. Everyone else seems to like have this breastfeeding thing down. Yeah. Like people before were telling me, oh, breastfeeding is easy, you just do this. Mm. And now I'm struggling, so maybe I'm less of a mother, and maybe yeah. I'm not able to provide for my child. You but know, you all feel these like if thoughts. you open up about this, you're gonna be, you're gonna be judged. I'm gonna be about, judged, yeah. right? Mm. And then you see someone else open up about it, and you're like, oh, that's so exactly how I feel. Like I feel alone. like they're in my room yeah. watching me, and they're sharing what I'm going through. Yeah. So that now allows like some kind of 
connection, right? Yeah, of like, yeah. okay, like I'm not alone. And then now through their story of mm. being vulnerable, mm. it actually brings you some kind of healing. So I really feel like a lot of like things that I've struggled with, mm. I've been able to hear other people share vulnerably about their stories and okay. it's brought so much freedom and healing for me to be like, wow, like they got through this, I think I can too. Okay. You know, so let me seek out what are the tools, what are the, what are the things that I need. Yeah, we should share with us a little bit like mm. the tools for someone who really uh, says, okay, I want to do it. Yeah. I want to venture into this journey of being vulnerable. How can I go about that? Yeah. Yeah, so that you're going to share with us in that little sure. bit. But in, uh, before this, friends, um, I forget about this. Uh, you are mother of a boy. I know yeah. a girl and a boy, but yeah. now let's focus on the boy. Uh, in, uh, in African societies, I don't know if I'm going too deep, but you let mm. me know. Mm -hmm. In African societies, we, we grow up thinking that boys cannot be vulnerable. Mm. Boy, a boy cannot cry. Um, mm. you can't, look, not, okay, vulnerable doesn't mean you have to cry, but it's one of the things yeah. that show like, oh, you're breaking down, you can actually let go and like show your feelings, your yeah. true feelings. So how, what are the tools that you're using as a parent, yeah. bring up a boy to say it's okay to be vulnerable. Yeah. Because we, we are, as mothers, we, we, we take, we have, the, we're like the pivotal, we take like pivotal role in, in caring for children, mm. even the dads, but I'm now con uh, concentrating on moms. How are you taking your little boy at a very young age? Like being vulnerable is okay. Mm -hmm. You can break down and cry. Mm -hmm. You can do all the things mm -hmm. they say it's girly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a great question. Yeah. I think, Honestly, I do it both for my, my son and also for my girl. Because yeah. in, in these cultural norms, there's also things like, you know, if if, if, if sailors are being loud or something, you mm. know, they're like, oh no, like, eh. yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all these things that are so like, girls don't do this, boys don't yeah. do this. When it comes to vulnerability, I think that I realize even myself growing up, mm. um, and, and I've had these conversations even with my parents. And now as a parent, I totally understand where they were coming from, right? Mm. But like so much when I was growing up, like if something bad was happening, I start crying. It was like, no, 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 like be strong, be strong. It's mm. okay, everything's gonna be okay, mm -hmm. be strong, right? Mm. And in retrospect, like when I got to, to college and I started going through, you know, some, some therapy myself, mm. I realized that at a young age, I was taught when I start to feeling some it. kind mm. of emotion, right? it's okay like things are gonna be fine be strong just mm. be strong mm. so for me it was like any kind of emotion crying or dwelling on something negative was a, was a bad thing yeah right yeah, those were yeah. the messages that i got yeah. as, as, as a child yes now as a parent now i'm a parent and mm. i see my my daughter or my son going through something i see that my my, my natural like tendency right mm. away because i want to take it all away yeah. i don't want them to feel any kind of pain yeah. so i'm just like it's okay like everything's gonna be fine mm. but now because i have this knowledge of realizing what kind of message it sent me and mm. how it made me um struggle with really being vulnerable with how mm. i feel or being able to process my emotions yeah. or feeling like maybe my emotions were too much i yeah. shouldn't be sharing I should just pretend that things are okay. Yeah. So now I actively try to allow my kids to feel. Like, so if my son is crying, he mm. can cry. Mm. He's not at an age yet where he can like use his, his words and all of yeah. that. But the same thing I'm doing with Sela, mm. not because she's a girl, mm. same thing I'm doing with Sela is what I'm gonna do with Liam. Yeah. And so when she's crying, allow her, like right now, like you're, you're actually really sad. Mm. Whether it's you're sad because you didn't get the cookie. Mm. In, in my head, I could be like, it's a cookie, I'll give you a cookie tomorrow. Just mm. stop crying. But for right? her? But for her, it really means a yeah, lot, you know? It really does. And, and she can't distinguish the cookie from like someone making fun of her at school or whatever mm. it is so it's like I just want her to feel so give her that room do you need to cry you can cry mommy's here there's no judgment you know mm. and then okay now let's move behind the, be, beyond the crying mm -hmm. what's going on what are you feeling I mm. feel sad okay why do you feel sad because I didn't get the cookie okay well that you know that mm. I totally understand I think I would be sad too if I really <laughs> wanted the cookie and I couldn't yes. get it actually you would be really I would sad. be sad you know but as adults now yes. we some some of us, not all of us, and some of us are learning, mm. we are able to learn how to emotionally regulate, right? Yeah, yeah. And but sometimes too when we're when we're upset about something, we might not cry, but instead it might come out as anger, it might mm. come out in addiction, it might come out in how we speak to somebody, like yeah. indifferent. So that's going to come out somehow. And I think for me it's really important to teach both of my kids, including mm. my son, mm. how to really be vulnerable like how to express whatever emotions that they're going through mm. and how to express what it is that they need because that's also the hardest thing to express something that you need okay. is also very vulnerable yeah right to say like 
I need this. I need like, this. I yeah. need a hug. Or oh. I really need to be affirmed right now yes. because I feel so insecure. Mm. It's hard because then you feel like I need automatically is like I'm weak. Yeah. Right? You're needy. I, yeah. Like, even for me, it's still hard to mm. go to someone and be like, I'm tired. Like I need, I need a nap. Mm. And can you please help me with X, Y, Z? Yeah. Because now it's like, Erica, you don't have it all together. You yeah. know. Um, but we have to, we have to start that process of yeah. really expressing what it is that we need. So you, you, I think that's you, really important. Yeah. As you're saying, you're telling us that story. Something like uh, clicked into my mind. I remembered when I was, um, when my child was, let me see, like uh, four, four months. Mm. So uh, I don't know if those who have been here know I actively uh, just give my child breast milk for the first six months. Mm. So um, so one night, I don't get the, the breast milk. Not really don't get, but I wasn't feeling well. This way you don't eat when you're mm. not feeling well. Yeah. And then I wasn't able to like feed him. So uh, now this is my, my, my baby's really crying. I'm like, is he hungry? I'm really trying. Like the, the kid is like really, really trying to, you know, breastfeed, but there is nothing much. Mm. Uh, there's no breast milk. And then my husband gets the formula. It was almost almost i was like you know what the kid has been crying like mm. to muhammad let's mm. just give him milk mm. when he said that oh my god i grew like mm. it was like you are a failure yeah you don't like you can't even feed your own child yeah. like he didn't say any he of didn't that, say that but, but that's i what, felt like yeah. I like i cried and he got so scared yeah. and he was like okay is it me did i say something yeah. like wabaichi mm. i was like I can't even give my child breast milk. Please don't give him formula. Like I know it's it's yeah. okay, but I was like, if you give him formula this minute, yeah. I'm gonna feel like I failed. failed. I yeah. failed. Yeah. But of course, we we pushed through that day. I think it was it was at night. I woke up. I took like ten jerry cans yeah. over, <laughs> and then I was able. Eventually, thank the Lord, I was able to. You know, yeah. he pushed through until I gave him. Uh, he got the breast milk. But then being able to tell him that. I, it's actually me. Yeah. It's not you. It's yeah. me. It's hard, I, it's, right? It's yeah. easy to be like, you should have known not to offer yes. a formula in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you should have known to just, you know, let yeah. me try to work through it. But it's like, they don't know what you need. Them exactly. To because it was like, or automatically getting the formula makes them like, mm. what are you doing? Even before I said, what are you doing? I was like, Cr you know, like yeah. wailing as if mm. I've lost someone. Like, mm. it was really hard. Mm. So, in that process, there was something meaningful that happened yeah. and then I eventually go back and you know yeah what I wanted to yeah. happen but being being able to tell him tell to tell him that took a lot out of me yeah. like he won't understand yeah. he just won't understand but also with vulnerability you gotta give the other person a chance for sure mm. you do you do and not, and not not everyone's gonna respond mm. well yeah sometimes you will respond badly mm. and if we take that and be like see they respond to this way I'm yeah. never gonna do it again yeah I, I've had so many reasons not to be vulnerable, mm. right? But then also, like, why don't we, in, instead of focusing on the times when we shouldn't have been vulnerable because yeah. we got a bad response, mm. when are those times we had points of connection yeah. or felt encouraged or felt yeah. affirmed and hang on to those because those are so meaningful, yeah. you know? I, I feel like, you know, in you, in you being vulnerable in that moment, like one, it was you to realize, like, first of all, like, okay, like this was hard for me because this really means a lot for me. Like, I really want to do this for mm, my child, mm, you know? Mm. And, and, and I feel like I'm a failure. Okay, but now you have the opportunity to be like, okay, let me, let me think through that. Why mm. do I feel like a failure because of this? Because mm. if push came to shove and I had to, mm. like, I know that I did my best, yeah. you know? And I have yeah. to be okay with that. Yeah. And so if we don't take those opportunities to really start dissecting and looking into it, Another time is gonna come in your life where something's gonna happen, mm. you gave it your all and it just wasn't just, enough. Yeah. And you have to realize like, I, Niza, like I am enough. Yeah. Like I gave my best and that is enough. I feel like I'm getting right? <laughs> to yeah, I mean, uh, sessions, please. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, so that's why I, I think it's so, it, it's so powerful. And now it also allowed your husband to also like, try to understand mm. and and to see where you're coming from so mm. imagine that scenario yeah. you didn't say anything yeah. you just were like kept it and he was like okay my wife was just crazy like <laughs> i don't know what's going on yeah but the next day just quiet let's mm. just sweep it under the rug yeah. right as we usually do because it was going to be hard to yeah. say something yeah what if he because now he's really going to see that i'm crazy mm. i've done this thing plenty of times yeah <laughs> but then what happens is the next time something happens then piles again. Yeah. The next thing something happens, then piles again. Mm. You're gonna start having some thoughts about like, 
listen, my husband is this and this and this, mm -hmm. right? Or he, he just doesn't know like the right things to say to me in the right yeah. moments. Or yeah. he always, he's always doing this, he's always doing that. That's when we start nitpicking at things. But the reality yeah. is, we weren't allowing ourselves to be vulnerable with what it is that we needed. Actually, we didn't communicate what, yeah. that. And so therefore, someone's gonna continue doing something that is not what we need, but we're mm. afraid to say anything. Mm. And it's just gonna keep, High you know, up, it's gonna be yeah. like right here. Mm. And soon you'll just start, what do you do? Like, okay, let me just avoid, like, I just, mm. I don't wanna be around them in this situation mm. or this or that. Um, and I mean, I'm speaking from experience, I've done that so many times, whether it be with friends, right? Avoiding certain conversations with friends. And so then Ooh. I'm just, but then That's they say something, other thing. you're triggered. Yeah. Say nothing, you're triggered. Mm. Then it's just like, I can't do this anymore, yeah. right? And so I feel like that's where also like, it, it all breathes down to connection for me. It's like when we can really be ourselves, we can take mm. a deep breath and we can have those points of connection and yeah. not focus on the times that things go wrong. Right. Because more, more, than, um, more than not, more times things are gonna actually go really well. Yeah. And you're gonna find that you can really connect with people on a deeper level. level. Mm. You're gonna find that you can also just be yourself with which there's freedom in that like yeah. for me i feel free to be able to like talk about my struggles and what's going on yeah still afterwards i have that vulnerability hangover like oh my gosh what did i just say like what did i just <laughs> tell people hangover. <laughs> vulnerability <laughs> hangover i get it all the time <laughs> but then they're i get like, a message uh -oh. from someone mm. and they're like thank you for sharing that like mm. i i'm like in the pits right now mm. and that just made me feel so encouraged and mm -hmm. motivated me and then i'm just like wow like something as, as hard as that was for me to share like mm -hmm. that really blessed someone else and you never know who you're talking to yeah. that person can then go and bless another 10 people and then it just trickles you know so i think that there's more there's more great things that can come out of it yes wow <laughs> wow this is so insightful like I love such deep conversations. I'm like, I'm evolving. <laughs> yes. We're evolving. We are. I love it too. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Yes, go yes. sis. So, uh, so you know, someone out there, you've heard our story, you've heard Erica share her, her, her story and her insights on vulnerability, but you're saying, hey, I would love to be vulnerable. I would love to, you know, try this journey yeah. for myself. But then you're like, how do I mm. go about this? <laughs> so. How can someone out there who wants to start the journey of being vulnerable, who has had the benefits of it, and is like, you know what? In this 2023? Mm, 2023, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, 2023 now, because 2022, yes, uh -uh, we yes. bring like, <laughs> Yes, so how, what are the steps to, to vulnerability? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I don't think I'm gonna speak as like an expert. Okay. Okay. Um, but I think I could just speak from, from my experience, maybe what it is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I feel like this has been impactful for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I think before you can, before you can attempt to be real with other people, mm -hmm. again, it goes back to like what I said before, mm -hmm. is like, do you even know you? Are you even real with yourself? Um, so for me, what was helpful was, you know, journaling. I'm not, I'm not like a, <laughs> consistent to journaler mm -hmm. but I realized that a lot of how I process my emotions mm -hmm. either one is like verbal diarrhea which is where <laughs> I just go to someone and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like and everything just yes, comes out yes. but then afterwards you're just like did I overshare I think I overshared <laughs> yeah or like it wasn't that deep yeah. you know like I was just because I feel things mm. like I really really feel things you're a feeler. and so what, I'm mm. a feeler I'm a mm. huge feeler mm. um, and so what I realized like even for for my husband like connection between my husband it was very powerful for me to like when I feel something like I need to go process myself and then I come and I speak because mm. when I have a couple hours to like process whatever just went on and I mm. speak it's very different from when I speak in the moment because when I speak in the moment everything seems like Whew, right here mm. right um, so again figure out like what that is for you in terms of how you can get in touch with yourself mm. so I think vulnerability starts by asking yourself the questions of like how am I feeling am I happy mm -hmm. oh. um, what, what do I need? Assessing mm. your needs, mm. right? So a lot of times I'm asking myself, you know, this, just this weekend, like 
I was just a huge ball of mess. Like I mm. went from zero to a hundred, right? In the morning feeling like all encouraged and yeah. like, I'm gonna motivate some people. I got a word today, mm. you know, I'm feeling like very strong and that I can, you know, go through this. This is something that I've been dealing with myself mm -hmm. in terms of feeling like I need to prove something to somebody. And so then hours later went and now I'm just like attacked with all these anxious thoughts and thinking that people, like, what do people think about me? How are people perceiving me? And I was just like really, really, really down. Now, for me, like it was hard because it was just like, I just wanted to like fight that feeling of being mm. down. Cause I was like, I shouldn't be down right now. Like I've been feeling really, really good lately. Mm. Why, why, why all of a sudden, why is this happening? And so I was trying to run away from it. So I'm like putting on a face, I'm going to my daughter's recital. I'm trying mm. to like, you know, smile yeah. and people ask me how I'm doing. But like, I felt, I honestly felt like I was suffocating cause deep inside, I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Like in one second, I'm gonna Aww. cry, you know? Mm. Um, and so I think in that moment, I had to ask myself, I was like, how am I feeling? I'm feeling really sad. I'm feeling anxious. Mm. Like, okay, what are these anxious thoughts? I feel like people don't like me. I feel like people misperceive how I present myself. Mm. I feel like I have to prove myself because I'm misunderstood, mm. you know? So just really trying to like assess all those things. Okay, like what is it that I need right now? Mm. Like, I really need, I need some encouragement. I need to first believe the good things about myself. I need right. someone to affirm me. And so like I had to go through that kind of that process. And so now I think that's you being vulnerable with yourself, yeah. um, which is hard. It's yeah. hard to feel like you're seeing, like you're looking in the mirror mm. and being like, I don't, I don't like myself right now. Like that's, that's hard. Yeah. We can't say that that's also easy. But then once we do that, I think the next step is now sharing with someone, which then is even harder, right? Yeah. And I share to thousands of people on social media. Yeah. Some people think I share everything. That's fine. If you want to think that mm. <laughs> I have what I want to share mm. to everyone. And mm. then I also have those things that I want to share on a more intimate level to yeah. some of my inner circle. Yeah. Um, but I think it's figuring out like someone that you want to share with. It can be okay. just one person yeah. that you want to share with. Um, it could be two thousands of people if that's what you want. Yeah. But I think for the first time, if you were like, I want to try to be more vulnerable, mm -hmm. I think find a relationship in some, a really important relationship in yeah. your life, mm -hmm. whether that's your, your parents, whether that's a sibling, whether that's your partner, find someone, right? And then now like just start thinking about, start with yourself, mm -hmm. I think first. It's like, are you happy in your job right now? Are you happy with the season of life you're in? Are you mm -hmm. content? Are you, and then find someone and, and, and share that with. Yeah. Share that with them and say, you know what? I'm on this journey of trying to be vulnerable mm. because being vulnerable is now being real with about yourself. Mm. The good so and find bad. that, the mm. good and bad, mm. find that person and, and share those things with them. Right, and right. you can also say like, this is really hard for me mm -hmm. and <laughs> this is very vulnerable and this is scary. But what I will say is not everyone is going to respond the way that you might expect them to respond to you, mm. right? And I think the first and foremost thing is you have been real with yourself mm -hmm. and you affirm yourself. And now when you go and you share with somebody else and they might disappoint you, mm. don't let that be the last time you share with someone, <laughs> please. Oh. Mm. <laughs> because there is gonna be that one person that you're gonna share something with and they're gonna be there to love on you, to mm. encourage you, to affirm you, to share like the, the, the things that they see in you, to, yeah. to really build you up. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna feel so, so good. And you're gonna to want to do that for somebody else as right. well. Yeah. And so I really, like you cannot protect anyone. Mm. I can never say like, you tell this person and they won't disappoint you. Sometimes mm. the closest people to you are the ones that disappoint yeah, you. Yeah, the most. But that's vulnerability, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's about sharing, being your authentic self, despite how people are going to respond to yeah. that because there's freedom in you feeling like I can just be real and I can just be myself. Mm. So And to remove, to remove the fake people in your life as well. Yeah. Yeah, you said fake and I'm like, a pin on that, I'll yeah. come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yes. that's hard too because yes. I'm, I'm there. I'm there right now, <laughs> you know? Mm. There's so many people that are not serving you mm. that, you know, as you also develop and as you also change, you know, and and, and start prioritizing or focus on different things, you realize that sometimes your circles from last year or mm. two years ago mm. is not what you need or what serves you right now. Yeah. And it's okay, like that also is like vulnerability and being like, I don't know that these are the people that I need right now mm. to get to where I wanna go. Sure. And I might need to like, 
understand that, assess that, and then kind of like separate, okay. right? And in good, healthy ways, respectful ways, but mm -hmm. you know, that's also really hard because it's like, what are people gonna think? Now they think that, you know, now they're gonna think that I'm too good for them or yeah. that I'm better than them or this or that or this mm -hmm. or that. But it's like we cannot we cannot continue living our lives pleasing other people because at the end of the day you're gonna there's gonna be someone that you're just not doing enough. Yeah. So at the end of the day, if you can ask yourself what is it that I need mm -hmm. and you make sure that you create your world to, mm -hmm. to, to serve that, it might sound selfish, but at the end of the day when you are filling up your cup, mm -hmm. you're able to give so much more to other people. After hearing that, how do we build the muscle? Mm. I feel like it, it's a muscle like you have to practice over and over again. Mm. How do you build this muscle yeah. so that it, it sticks? Yeah. 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 I think building the muscle is um, more about consistency mm -hmm. and to keep pushing uh, even when it hurts. So yeah. when you think about even build, I mean, I go to the gym, so building a muscle in the mm -hmm. gym, you go and you like, you, you weight train mm -hmm. and the next day you're feeling sore and it hurts, but then you have to go back. If you like Excuse give me. in to like, I'm feeling sore and mm. I don't wanna, I, I can't do that anymore because I'm just feeling pain, yeah. it doesn't feel good, you're never gonna build that muscle. Yeah. So building it is actually like breaking it down until mm. it's like whew, nothing yeah. and then you start building. So I and think the same time. thing, it takes time. I mm. think the same thing with vulnerability is if you wanna feel like I can do this and it can get easier because mm -hmm. again like I said for me it's still it's still something that's like there's a lot of things that are really easy for me to say mm. right where someone else is like I can never say that and for me I'm like mm. this, is, this really isn't a big deal right and then there's other things like mm. me posting me crying mm. right where I'm just like ah, that, was, that was a bit, <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit vulnerable yeah. right there um, so I think that over time you're going to build build that muscle and mm. some, sometimes things are going to get easier yeah. right where it's like okay this isn't as hard mm. um, this doesn't feel as scary and, and then there's going to be other times the feeling has fine. to be by you not what what other person as you've said others may think it's too much yeah and you may think I'm good yeah like, that, that's <laughs> Plus nothing actually. Yeah. So I feel like you gotta be the one to feel when it's too much. For yeah. You, yeah. Not the other person. Yeah. Definitely. There you go. Definitely. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. thank and you. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed uh, doing it with Erica. Erica, mm. have you enjoyed have you, have you had a good time? I've had a great time. <laughs> thank you so much. I mean this is like I love this. I love having these conversations. Mm. It feels a bit intimidating when you have two cameras staring at you. <laughs> You're like, okay. But okay, okay. then I have this beautiful face here Aww. and you have just such a wonderful way of just having a genuine, just real conversation. Thank and you. so it felt really good. Mm. And I hope that this is something that encourages people right. um, to take that step and mm. to, to be vulnerable. Okay. And to also see that even for someone that you might think it comes easy to, mm. it's, it's not all the time. Let's build that massive yeah. people. <laughs> Let's build it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. I think that's the end of the video. Uh, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share because somebody out there needs yeah. to uh, may find this video really helpful. Mm -hmm. And please do share. It will help us a lot. Yeah. It will validate our yeah you know this conversation. Yeah. And subscribe to my channel if you yes. haven't. Yeah. And. Uh, Ding. There you go. And, and <laughs> click on that <laughs> notification bell yeah, there to be go. notified every time we upload. And yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.